impending divorce, or worse, at work pathfinder group, not sure how best to handle things or escape the blast radius. Monthly pathfinder game with co-workers and wives, even some other family, close knit, calm, chill, enjoyable game that a co-worker's wife runs. Co-worker, we'll call him Dave, and his wife, Blob, have issues. Bad issues related to Blob's weight, poor health, refusal to work out or change her diet. Wasn't like this before, got into tabletop and her health declined as she got absorbed in making these games for us. Dave's self esteem is critically low like he made charisma his dump stat, only reason he stays with her really. All of Dave's characters are the opposite, wish fulfillment and shit, blob, as DM, makes a lot of homely shall we say women in her game, spends time describing how the rural communities we visit are not filled with attractive women because they work hard labor in the dirt and don't have makeup and gain weight to protect themselves against famine, all fairly believable stuff. Nobles are also fat though because they can afford to be fat, ugly but hide it with makeup. Monsters are ugly too, there are no attractive people in this campaign who are not PCs. Finally, after years, Blob introduces an attractive Naga, you aren't he not sure, snake person, NPC because Naga are supposed to be seductive and shit, describes her as being very hot because it's part of a poorly concealed plot to seduce a party member. Dave takes the bait like his testicles would explode if he didn't. Blob is unsettled with his fervor but continues unabated. Dave's charming rogue character obviously attempts to fuck the snake. Dave's character is married in game but he says the naga is so hot he'll do it anyways as a promiscuous rogue that he is. Blob is more visibly upset, continues on like a champion. I'll ask for a will check for you to resist her wiles and remain faithful. I don't resist and willingly fail it. She spends a second thinking and then says she wants to cut a black and move to other party members who are elsewhere in town doing things. Ends up just calling it quits because we hit our time and said she'd get to it later because Dave is making jokes about it now and how much he's going to fuck up that scale pussy. Everything is tense but relatively okay after that until I have a computer issue because I think I've fucked up my motherboard installing a new GPU into it and Dave is the resident computer hardware guy. Go over to see Dave after he agrees to help. Meet him, looks exhausted and haggard. Kids are in the back room playing games but I can tell they're not super into it. Something is wrong. Ask him point blank if he's in a position to help me or if he needs help. Well, blob about killed the kids. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fucking bold statements to make. Susie was grabbed by some man off the street, like some nightmare shit. And Blob tried to chase after him but couldn't because she's so fat. Susie got away and ran to the cops. I had to pick her up from there and hear that my wife is in the air because her heart couldn't handle her running for the first time in years like that. My wife failed to save her. Susie saved herself. She could have died or worse. Fuck man that's wild. Not sure how to handle it. He's said his piece and wants to move on right now. Destress a bit from things. Working a computer is relaxing so that's why he offered even in this situation. Try to let him help as best he can. My problem is sorted out. Stay a bit and drink. Leave. Everything seems okay. Susie isn't too traumatized. She's young enough to bounce back. But Dave is less elastic. Actively resents his wife for being useless all month until the next game. The next month's session ends up being a complete train wreck. Predictably. Monthly game comes around, pick up where we left off, Blob is trying to skirt the snake's sex issue, she is clearly stressed, shaken, and otherwise in a bad way but the same way that Dave uses computers she needs her fantasy world to take her away from things. This does not go well as Dave immediately pushes back into the snake fucking that did not happen last time. Everyone else in the group thinks that this will help Dave's self esteem because Blob has been complaining to the women in the group that they are not very intimate these past few weeks. They, mistakenly, think it's because of his low self esteem. It is clearly because Blob about lost one of his kids to what we can only assume was a street abductor. This makes me powerless to shift the subject or try and get Dave to do anything else. Laughter, drinks, Everyone wants Dave to go to pound town on this snake woman so Blob has no way out. She tries to cut to black again but the belligerent mass. We're 12 players total. Yes I know that's fucked. Won't have it. Blob attempts to artfully navigate the intricacies of fucking a snake. 
with details that tell me she has done a little too much research on how snakes mate. Dave is being tactfully graphic, enough to keep the table happy but not uncomfortable, since we're all adults and even the wives a pretty good sex doesn't bother us much. This back and forth gets more and more tense as I pick up that some of these bedroom details are excessively personal, veiled attacks on the other party that get less and less hidden as things progress. We go from oh is she into some kinky things my wife at home would never let me do that, into well at least while she's constricting me to death I'll die touched by a fit woman, no longer the only person who understands what's happening as they start shouting at each other. This at their house so I nudge someone to check on the kids, take them somewhere else or keep them occupied at least before things explode. Things violently explode. Oh so I just have to be a fucking snake to get some dick around here do I? No. You just have to be less of a disgustingly fat fuck that my dick won't send you to the emergency room for a second time. I was trying to save our daughter from a my daughter. If you gave half a fuck you wouldn't have gained half a ton of weight so that you can't do your fucking job of protecting my child. I'm the only one who cares here so why should you be involved at all let's play fucking make believe where I make believe my wife can run two blocks to save her daughter. I'll roll for that chucks a fistful of dice at blob dice don't even connect before she's crying so they just sort of slide off her wet face and make little wet tracks on her NPC character sheets runs out of the room. Women follow. Men stay. We try to disentangle this Gordian knot of issues. Dave is crying now too. Doesn't know what to do or how to handle things at this point. Dave goes home with someone else to stay with them for a while at one of the wives suggestion. We all think that's probably a decent idea at this point. Work resumes the following Monday and I'm the first one in the office to find the snake NPC's character sheet. Test streak's still there but now it's also covered in what I can only assume, based on smell, is vomit. There's a printed out letter accompanying it saying, to be brief, that blob will just puke up everything she eats until she's a good wife this is super no bueno. Shred the paper. Dumps to the sheet. There is no way Dave in his current state, can handle that shit. Tell Dave nothing except the fact that they both need to get help. Dave and Blob are still at a standstill. Dave still isn't home. It's been two weeks, but the issues have spread to other households now too. Too long didn't read. Snake pussy gouged out a buried marital issue and now everything is ruined and our three year pathfinder game is collateral. Fuck me that's desperate like. I dunno maybe I'm just a bit too conservative when it comes to sex in tabletop games I always find it dead awkward and it's something I would avoid I'm just not into it, but fuck me do these people have problems. Like how badly do you see yourself if you have to make everyone else in your make believe world fat and ugly like you and what was she thinking anyway putting the sexy snake woman into the game. Like can both parties just sit down and talk about the problems instead of dragging it out into a game in front of friends family and co-workers. There's a lot of underlying issues. If you check out the thread linked in the description there is a lot of people trying to give advice on the situation but for me I would say it's all far too gone to be repaired. But hey have you ever had anything at all close to this that has broken up a tabletop group? Somehow I think this one tops the one when the guy had to ring the police on his DM. I will link that video in the cards but as always I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. So I've recently moved Nick Bairdia merch over to Teesprings and have a few new designs. Listings are below the video and in the description. Just stop! Just stop it! Stop! No! Just stop it! It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! Where the fuck are your parents? Who are your parents? I'm gonna call Child Protective Services. It's time to stop!